happier if you holster that. Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. He was always a sickly child, sickly and weird. I have no idea why he followed me out to the West. He would have been better off staying at prep school or going to the seminary. I've spent my whole life horsewhipping this scoundrel, but to no avail. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. Hit me. You really walloped him! My yikes! I'm fine. Come on! In the f Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Hey, hey, give me again. A... Right here. Right here. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Oh. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. <laughs> well, there's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Oh! <laughs> They've come out his ears! <laughs> My turn! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Enough, gentlemen? Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped. And I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <laughs> Let's get you back to your room. Come on. I'm fine, really. It's that wretch who needs the rest. I've never been better. Truly, I could ride to Strawberry in the state I'm in. Both of you are going to bed, and that's the end of it. A bath. Move Maybe already. that's what I need. Would you bathe hey, me? Be more careful. Sweet Helen. Do you hear that wretch? That lascivious monster? If you're bathing anyone, you're bathing me. And you can Watch be yourself. assured of my Why chivalry. Here's the hotel. We're almost there. You've had your fun with these boys. Now let me look after them. Okay, now lie down and rest. Is always better with company. Come and rest. Mm. So where are you from, friend? Kinda all over the place. I am from Mexico. 
I left because my best friend, a man I'd known my whole life, betrayed me. And why am I telling you this? Because often the company of strangers is the best kind. The closer we get, the more cruel we become. Well, now. See, you know it too. I don't know how well you know the town of uh, Annisburg, but they tell a story of three brothers, close as can be, until greed destroyed them. They'd found gold together, but one of them ran off with it all. Now, the three of them lie dead. They say the brother marked the spot where he'd hidden the gold with tree carvings until he was followed there and shot dead by one of the other brothers. As far as I know, it's never been found. And neither has the body of my best friend. Well, I've rested long enough. Hold up. Partner, whoo! I was almost a meal there. <laughs> 